My name is Courtney Gilbert and I'm the Curator of Visual Arts at the Sun Valley Center for the Arts. The exhibition that we have up right now is called Contemplative Practice, part of a larger Big Idea project. This project was motivated by our interest in looking at the centuries-long tradition between art and the desire to create contemplative or devotional states. It was also motivated by recent scientific research into all kinds of benefits that meditation offers. The larger role of meditation and mindfulness in our world today. The exhibition here at the Center features artwork by four contemporary artists, each of whom use meditation in different ways in their work, both in terms of their process and also as part of the content of their artwork. Sarah Victoria Bothwell Fells is an artist who lives in Brooklyn, New York. She's become well known for wooden sculptures that she makes, taken from houses that are being torn down in Detroit and also houses that were damaged after Hurricane Isaac in New Orleans and then she assembles this reclaimed wood into these sculptures that become spaces people are invited to enter. We have here a large triangular sculpture that visitors can climb inside and spend time in them in contemplation. The way that they capture light coming through the slats of wood creates this beautiful visual experience. She kind of embraces the idea of the passage of time, of decay and renewal. We also have a series of drawings that she makes on 19th century French meteorology paper, and she calls them fantastical blueprints. Some of them are drawings in which she's working out her ideas for building sculptures, and others are drawings of structures that may never exist. And so that idea of fractals or crystals, triangles layering upon each other, for her is a metaphor for our individual connection to everyone else in the world. Meg Hitchcock is an artist who's also based in Brooklyn, New York, and creates these beautiful collage works by cutting up individual letters out of religious texts and then reassembling them into sentences or phrases out of other religious texts. Hitchcock grew up in a very devoutly Christian family. She was an evangelical Christian through her 20s, and in her 30s she started to move away from that tradition, and as part of that process she began reading religious texts from all over the world and from different kinds of religious traditions, and was struck by the, how much the world's religions share, and that a search for spiritual meaning is common to all of humanity. Her collages are for her a way to dissect the Word of God and also to celebrate our common search for spiritual meaning. Pegan Brook is an artist who makes abstract paintings that are very much inspired by nature. Here in Idaho, she's mesmerized by the passage of light through aspen forests. Capturing that play of light on canvas is central to her artwork. Her paintings kind of ask viewers to slow down and to spend time looking and to spend time in, in kind of quiet contemplation. They're very dynamic and they change not only throughout the course of the day as natural light changes, but as viewers move in front of them, they become these kind of active works of art. As part of this exhibition, we have three of Pegan Brooks' paintings as well as several short video poems that are all in some way tied to the idea of contemplation. And then two interactive works inside a booth that we built here that ask viewers to spend time holding their hands together beneath projected images of water. So you get to enjoy the experience of holding water in your hands as it's projected down on them. The fourth artist in the exhibition is a Portland, Oregon-based artist named Dana Lynn Lewis. And as part of this project, we invited Dana here to install her artwork on site and also to turn our project room gallery into a space for meditation. Dana's work has grown out of her training as a yoga instructor, her interest in the idea of the breath, and in trying to kind of capture the breath through, for instance, these beautiful glass beads that she's blown, breathing into each bead a series of in positive intentions for the world. Dana's practice is not only informed by her interest in yoga, but also she has spent extensive amounts of time in West Africa. She helped found a cultural center in Mali. She's worked with art as a healing tool at the Oregon State Hospital, working with patients there to produce public art projects. 
For Dana, I think her work is both about making it through meditative acts like beading and blowing glass and painting, but also about using the work to connect people to each other and to help heal. In the meditation space that she designed for us, we have a, a beautiful video projection that gives viewers the, the sense that they're kind of up in the clouds. And also a, a project she designed called Clearing, where um, participants are asked to write something on a piece of paper that they'd like to clear out of their lives or out of the world or out of the universe. And at the end of the project, the envelopes, each of which are, have a tiny circle of mica glued on them, will be burned. And so those intentions for clearing will go out into the universe, but mica, which doesn't burn, will remain behind as, as kind of the physical memory of that act. Dana's project has also given us the opportunity to collaborate with two local nonprofit organizations. Ryan Redman, who is the executive director of the Flourish Foundation, has recorded a guided meditation that visitors are invited to check out from the front desk. The center is also collaborating with the Sun Valley Wellness Festival. As part of that collaboration, Dana Lewis will be installing projected images of some of her drawings outside the Sun Valley Inn during the run of the Sun Valley Wellness Festival this year. I hope everybody will take some time to come see this exhibition. It's an opportunity, I think, in our hectic daily lives to kind of step away from the chaos and come into a space that's calm and tranquil and invites us all to slow down and spend time not just looking at artwork but having a meditative moment.